Okay, welcome back everyone to this tutorial series on reviewing proof techniques. So in this video, we'll be reviewing the proof by construction uh, technique. And so typically when you're given a statement claiming the existence of some object, um, so the existence of some object or um, the existence of a property in some object, one common way of proving these statements is to actually construct, so actually physically create, well, physically, um, you know what I mean, create this mathematical object that has this property. Um, and this proof technique is going to be very common in uh, this material and in automata theory in particular, because in automata theory, you're meant to create a specific kind of directed graph, which is known as a state transition graph, where um, some property uh, is befitting to that, uh, to that graph. And so I think just to get um, your, your feet a little wet um, and to get ready to do these kinds of proofs, um, I wanted to introduce the idea or review the idea of a proof by construction. And so for, for that, I have an example. This example is actually taken from the Sipster textbook. Um, and the example goes like this. So it says that um, it's claiming that for each even number n greater than two, so in other words, uh, n is greater or equal to four, and n is even, there exists a three regular graph with n vertices. Okay, and just a reminder, what is a three regular graph? So a three regular graph G is a graph for which every vertex V in the set of vertices V has degree three. So for example, um, let's see, if I have a graph like so, like so, then um, this guy has degree three, this guy has degree three, this guy has degree three, and this guy has degree three. So this is a three regular graph with four vertices. Okay. And so in general, how am I going to prove this, right? How am I going to prove this existence? Um, so there are a few ways of doing it. Um, if you wanted to, to practice induction, this might be doable by induction, but what we're going to do so we're going to try to prove this by construction. So how do you, how do you go about proving this by construction? So, uh, whoops, what happened there? Okay, that was strange. So, oh, I see. Uh, wait, can I do this? No, I cannot. Why not? Ah, come on, this is annoying. Okay, whatever. Okay, we'll just keep it like this. Okay, so uh, how do you prove this? So this proof is going to be uh, by construction. So what that means is that I need to essentially, my goal, so my goal uh, is to sort of create or find a formula so some formula or some sort of like programmatic way, some, some formula uh, for creating a three regular graph for any n greater or equal to four and even. Okay, so let's think about this with an actual concrete example. So let's say n is six. Right, okay, can I close this? No, thank you. So let's say n is six. So then, so I have my vertices here. Okay, let me label them. So I'll say this is one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, I know how to easily make a two regular graph, right? So how would I make a two regular graph? For any n, right? How would I make a two regular graph? I would just do this, right? I would just create a cycle, a single, simple cycle, right? So now um, each of, whoops, sorry about that. Each of these guys has degree two, right? Okay. 
So now what I need to do is I need to find a way of adding an extra degree to each vertex. Hmm. So what I could do in this case is, let's say I could maybe add, hmm. so if I do something like, I do something like this, so now this guy has three, this guy has three, then I do something like this, this guy has three, and then this guy has three, but then here, here I'm stuck, right? So if I connect this, then yeah, that doesn't work because then this will have this will have four actually. So that's not good. Okay, how about I do two with five, and then three with six, and then four with one. Okay, so that looks like it worked, right? So this says three, this is 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 three. Okay, so what I just did, it looks like what I just did was I connect um, all my vertices together in, in some some kind of circle, if you, if you will. And then for a given vertex, I connect that given vertex with its kind of like opposing um, vertex. So the vertex on the other side, basically. I So here I had n equals six. Um, so if I divide that by two, then I have three, right? So I kind of did two and then plus three, so three, four, five, and then I connected that vertex, right? Okay, so it looks like that works for six. So does this work in general? Well, I think so, right? Because let's say I have, just some arbitrary m. So I have some arbitrary n. I know that n is even, right? So I know that n over 2 is an integer, right? So then n over 2 is maybe somewhere here. 1 is somewhere here. So I know that doing this creates a 2 regular graph, right? So this is a 2 regular graph. Now, if I do if I do, so actually I need, so then this is n plus 2, then this is n plus 2 plus 1, right? Then, uh, let's see, so then I'm going to connect 1 to n plus 2 plus 1, then 2 to n plus 2 plus 2, and then I keep going until I get to um, till I get to n over 2. Well, that doesn't work. Or does it? Because I have, I have n vertices, right? So this comes back to being n, right? So then if I have um, n plus n over 2, oh, no, what am I saying? Wait, oh yeah, that works, right? Okay, so that, okay, obviously that works. So then n, so right, so I keep going until I get to n over 2 minus 1. And if I'm at n over 2 minus 1, if I add n over 2, right, if I add n over 2, then I'm going to be here. I'm going to be at n minus 1. And then once I add n over 2 to n over 2, I get to n, right? So, and then we can see that because I have in like um, mismatch any of my vertices, it, 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 it clear actually, when you, when you think about it a bit, that each of these vertices now has degree 3, right? Okay, so that looks like uh, it's, it's a solid argument. And so then what you would need to just do is write that down more formally. So um, you can construct this graph G by, let's say, creating a set of vertices and edges where the vertices are from 1 to n. So let's say this is Gn. And then the edges are what? So the edges are, um, I connect let's say 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, and so on. So i to i plus 1 for i in, let's say, 1, 2, and n, n, n 
minus one, right? Because I don't want to go over that. And then union, I also want to connect n back to one. So I connect n back to one. And then union, now I connect the opposing vertices, right? So I connect i with i plus n over two. And I do that for i from one to, um, I do that from one to n over two, right? Yeah, because then the last one that I'm going to have here, uh, the last, so the last um, i I'm going to plug in is n over two, right, n over two. So then I'll have n over two here, and then over here I'll have n over two plus n over two, which is n. So I'll be connecting n over two to n here. Okay, and that constructs the graph G for any uh, even uh, integer greater or equal to four. And that's how you would sort of um, construct this math mathematical object, thus proving this claim here. So I can put my little square and I am done. Okay, so that concludes the, um, the review of the proof by construction. Um, so like I said before, these are going to be, this proof technique is going to be important for um, automata theory and for proving that, for instance, language is regular. And you don't need to know what that means right now, but you will in, in a few videos from now. Um, and I, I believe that this is the end of the uh, mathematical preliminaries. And so next will be uh, the beginning of our our, um, our uh, quest through the uh, theory of computation and the the, the world of uh, automata theory, computability theory, and um, all that fun stuff. All right, so I'll see you next time.